What's up guys and welcome back to the video. This is the Chain Slasher skills and updates. Mainly Chain Slasher skills. I know in my previous videos I've been calling them Chain Blades but come on that's I'm pretty sure that's the name of the weapon itself. Um, it's been like six days since the initial update or five. I haven't really been keeping track but um, they're really fun skills. If anything I already got all of them mastered, um, including that stupid skill that most of us know, uh, spinning chain slashers. So, in this video, I will be showing anyone who has yet to get the skills or want to know if they want to try them out yet or if they're even worth it, uh, the talent titles that you'll be getting. Well, not talent titles, but skill titles. That's better. <laughs> um, so, we'll check out the titles first. So, let's have this over here. With this over here. Actually, we'll go to the talent titles first. Once you pass expert and onto great, you get more of a variety of them, but here's what you get so far. You got champion jailer, which is chain slasher, warrior, blacksmithing, ninja, and tailor. Champion assassin, my personal favorite, because <laughs> who doesn't like the title? Um, chain slasher, of course, F fighter, Apothecary and Ninja, Champion Occultist, I think I said that wrong where I kind of stuttered one of them, Puppeteering, Chain Slasher, and Construction Alchemist, 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 <laughs> Champion Friar, Chain Slasher, Cleric, and Chef, Champion Trader, Slasher, and Merkant. Okay. Champion, Range Weaponeer, Chain Slasher, Archer, and Gunslinger. That's pretty cool. Champion, Ringmaster. You know, I should just forego the whole champion thing. It's redundant at this point. Um, adventurer, and Chain Slasher. Because, you know, I'm not saying Master Adventurer or anything. You got the Black Magician. Um, hold on. Right here. Obviously, it's going to be Mage with <laughs> Chain Slasher. And the Black Knight. Pretty cool stuff, which is of course Master Knight. Sorry elves, not applicable for you guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. I swear you guys can play like a drinking game every time I say um. <laughs> uh, he's already drunk within the first two minutes of the video. What happened? I don't know. He said um too many times. That would be included as well. Um, titles, okay. So let's look over here. And we'll start with Deathmark because it's already equipped. As you can see, it's uh, a Lux and Dex. Lux, wow. Luck and Dex Therity. And it makes Deathmark last three seconds more. Then you have Anchor Rush, which is, again, the same stats Dex and Luck, 10 and 5. But with an Anchor Rush max range of 2 meters. Uh, Dorka Conversion, which is a pretty nice title. Dorka Conversion Yield, plus 2. Now, if you don't know what the Dorka is, it is these things right here in front of my face or above my face. Now it's in front of my face. There we go. Um, you get the Dorka gauge up and you'll be able to use your skills as many times as you want until it goes back to zero or unless it has or set a required amount. So with the original Dorka death mark thing or sorry, conversion, it would go up to six, but an ex extra two, meaning eight. Uh, chain Sweep, which is the same stuff again. Generally speaking, it appears that all the chain type titles aside from the Dorka one, um, the Dorka Conversion and... Uh, yeah, just the Dorka Conversion. I'll give you plus 5 and plus 10 luck dexterity. And with a 20% on increase on the certain skill. So, as you can see, Chain Sweep is also 20% more. Chain Master... Um, chain Crush, sorry, is also 20% more. And it's the same with Spinning Slasher, an extra 20%. Chain Impale, same thing. Aha! This is where things change. Now, it's a Dorka Snatch yield 10% more. Now, that's also when you're gathering for the Dorka Gauge as well. That's where it all accumulates to. You also have the Chain Blade Master. It's, again, different. Max and min attack damage plus 10 when equipped with the chain blade, of course. You can't just <laughs> increase your attack with any weapon. You know how this game works. Then 
back to the normal stats of plus 5 and plus 10, and Dorka's skill damage, 1%. Sweet. So now let's check out that shadow mission. I chose a uh, software spider. I have no idea what difficulty I pressed at this point. But we'll start with the chain impale. So where you strike your enemy down like that. Pretty nifty. Actually, I do need Dorka now. Okay, I may have picked a higher mission than I thought. I'm not even wearing armor. Uh, that's okay, whatever. Nothing I can't handle. Oh, this would be, of course, a chain blade mastery itself, as well as a Dorka snatch, because it snatches the Dorka away from the formers and into us. This is the anchor rush. Slide across enemies to get closer or to get away. Let's see if I can get this guy to hit me. Oh, that, not that one. <laughs> now see, he hits me and I'm able to get by a lot faster. It doesn't work with pushbacks like that unless I'm doing something wrong, but I haven't been able to notice. It's able to, you know, accumulate your skills a lot better too. You know, you get away for a second and restart the attack, get a chain impale. I said chain impale, didn't I? Chain impale. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even realize. I heard him, but I didn't realize he would. Where did he go? Oh, that, that's who it was. Okay, now we'll start with the next attack, which will be Chain Crush. Lift that enemy up and down. Usually when they use defense, it does block them out. Um, when they don't, bam, like that. Let's try that again. Just right there. He's hitting me. Anchor Rush right there. Get to the other side, and another Chain Crush. Now, for my favorite one, Chain Sweep. Here we go. You have a large area of how many formers you can attack, and go for it. If they get out of the circle before you jump up, it kind of like saves them for that period of time. Let's get that cha Chain Impale. And... Let's see, I got over the Chain Sweep, the Anchor Rush, Chain Impale, Chain Crush, what's next? Ah, I know which ones, Death Mark and Spinning Slasher. Now these two actually go hand to hand, and I'll show you why in a bit once I collect more of these uh, Dorka. Fun fact about Dorka. Pretty, it means uh, darkness, so you're basically con collecting the darkness of the formas and into you. And if you've done the quest line and actually read it, it'd make a lot of sense. <laughs> but not a lot of people do. Maybe... ah, whatever. 11 more. I want to do it when there's a bunch of them so I can show y'all. Yeah, and basically you become invulnerable to attacks when using some of the skill sets. I know, but you're still gonna get damage, but you still, again, become invulnerable. So there's no pushback, even if it's like um, a water cannon that's really close, uh, wind blast, windmill, all that stuff. But while the skill is being active or after the actual effect is there. Next part. Oh yeah, and another thing, when you do get all of the skills rank 1 for what's currently out, as you can see, it brings you up to champion. It, no master yet. Not until the other three skills come out. Okay, let's click that. Okay, let's see who we can get. Get the death mark, and once you start using it, see that? It brings everyone closer together. Then, you go for the spinning slasher. I only got two, and yeah, it, it really helps with combo development. I personally love these skills. See that? He hit me and I did not <laughs> get blown away. Look at that, see? This is, this is why I love these skills. They're amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend. 
But it does base off of luck and dexterity, which is why the talent ti not the talent titles, the um, master titles do have that little bonus there. Um, but yeah, if you want to be end game, go for those stats. The best way, in my opinion, though, is oh shit, I didn't have enough. Is to what was I gonna say? H10, H10 for the most luck, because. When you're at a younger age, for some reason, the game goes, Ah, give this kid some a break. <laughs> oh, yes, the next one. Durka Conversion. The main one. This one will, as you can see, 8 minutes cooldown, consumes half of your HP, and builds up 6 more Durka. So, if you're really desperate and in need for the Durka, go for it. Honestly, look at that. And everything comes out. I got the extra 6, so I can use my skills. And bam. Helps if you have HP pots or an abundance of clouds. <laughs> Look at that. Got most of my HP back anyways. Um, let's get the skill in. Bring everyone back together. Now let's go right here. <sighs> you also got to aim with that skill, by the way. I was just clicking. <laughs> and what I mean by aim is like that. See, they have like their little counters over their heads. Hit me, there we go. Oh shoot, I'm just getting hit all over the place. I don't know why I did not use Anchor Rush while he was hitting me. Um, let's put this guy to sleep for now. And that'll be it for the video. Aside from that, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you liked the skill set as well. Um, again, the drinking game is still there, so that those ums count. <laughs> I guess, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you feel like. Honestly, no one is forcing you. Unless you know me in this game, then yes, I will be forcing you. Just kidding. <laughs> kind of. Not really. <laughs> so, until the next.